Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, uh, DEFI uh, is really under the radar of the regulators, especially because there have been a lot of fraud that has happened, and because of which, if you are an investor in DEFI or you are an owner of a DEFI uh, uh, a company or who runs a DEFI, who, uh, who has created DEFI, then you need to be really careful. Uh, we, today we're going to talk about why the regulators have a concern on DEFI and what are the kinds of regulations that may come up or what are they talking about in, uh, in on regulations for especially DEFI and cryptos in general. Um, we're going to talk about all of that in today's video. So before I jump in, my request to you as usual, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Please smash that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a new video. Please comment on my video so that I know what exactly you're looking at and then I can craft out a video based on your requirement. Please also share my videos with people who you think would benefit from my research, from my knowledge and from my videos. So without further ado, let's dive in. So, you know, as usual, I talk about my ebook. This particular ebook is on my journey as an entrepreneur. It's titled Six Figure Corporate Job to Master Entrepreneur. In this ebook, I've spoken of the time back in 2010 when I quit my six figure globe trotting corporate job. Uh, so, it starts with my preparation. So, the kind of preparation I took before I jumped in to the world of entrepreneurship. It talks about the challenges that I faced as an entrepreneur and it also talks about how I overcame those challenges. Now, this uh, ebook, in this particular ebook, I put down three worksheets. Now, these worksheets are meant to help you gauge your preparedness uh, before you jump in as an entrepreneur. Um, I would imagine a lot of you who are currently in jobs, full time jobs, would be looking to become an entrepreneur. So, with all you guys in mind, I put down those worksheets. There are, there are questions in those. Uh, worksheet that you have to answer and you get certain points and towards the end you would know how much you scored and where you stand. The, I have also taken uh, this particular quiz based on my mindset back in 2010. You would know how much I scored and you would also know how uh, successful I am today as an entrepreneur with two companies, one in Singapore and the other one in India and representations in the US and North American markets. Now this ebook comes to you for totally free of charge. It's available on my website. The URL is currently flashing on the screen. I'll put down the URL in the description box below. Click on it, go to the page, put down your name and email address, and the link to download the ebook will be emailed to your inbox. I hope you like the ebook. Do give me your honest feedback. Now let's let's talk about DEFI. So so what is the you know why 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 crypto you know you know it's the regulators have problems with crypto. So the major bang, the, the, the major hack scams plaguing the space this year, regulators are increasingly worried about the risk of crime as well as harm to consumers. About $90 billion have been deposited into Ethereum-based DeFi protocols so far, according to data from the blog. Various countries have attempted to boot out Binance, the world's largest digital currency exchange for operating without their authorization and it's the trouble that Binance is facing is still ongoing. Since it has no official headquarters, Binance has so far managed to avoid scrutiny, uh, though the company says it now wants to be a friend, not a foe to regulators. So, you know, the, what are, why is it, why is it, why is that the regulators are carrying a stick? So for almost a year, the U.S. Um, Security Exchange Commission, which is SEC, is probing the decentralization or decentralized crypto exchange Uniswap with officials seeking information on how investors use the platform and the way in which it is marketed. In September 2021, acting U.S. Comptroller, uh, Comptor of Currency, currency Michael Su. Uh, like in DeFi, actively 
to controversial practices in the Wall Street that led to the 2008 financial crisis. It is evident that one of the biggest questions facing regulators at the moment is how to deal with debt. The question is, how, are, uh, how do you apply regulatory standards designed for centralized intermediaries to the world for a few marketplaces where there is no clear centralization? Now, that's the question. So what are the concerns that uh, they really have, primary concerns? One source of concern for regulators is DEFI services marketing themselves as uh, cent decentralized when they may not be that ca the case, really. Two weeks ago, so very recently, Global Anti-Money Laundering Watchdog, the FATF, Financial Action Task Force, released revised guidance on cryptocurrencies. Part of the rule calls call for countries to identify individuals with, with control or sufficient uh, influence over DEFI programs, which means that some founders of DEFI startups could potentially become subject to rules requiring that they provide information on originators and beneficiaries in the transfer of funds. Regulatory officials have made two things clear. They are supportive of the benefits that blockchain technology can, uh, can confer on end users, but they are not ready to trust the sector's ability to manage its financial crime risks. So, so that's, those are the concerns that it has. So in summary, I would tell you that uh, uh, not just the DEFI, but crypto in general has a lot of concerns. And regulators are working uh, are, are on it. Uh, the central banks, the governing banks across all countries are working on it. Now, what would be the outcome of their, um, you know, uh, regulations or, or what kind of regulations they come up with in different countries will be something that we have to watch out for and will, I reckon, would also be different in different countries. So the challenge would then be because you can do cross-border uh, transactions through crypto or DeFi. Now, that will really pose a problem. Let's see what how you know you know what happens and how the regulators uh, you know try and solve this um, a good problem to have I would say because I also I, I would also imagine that blockchain technology is a great solution for uh, end users very true I would also direct you to the video that I did on you know what the senators and the SEC the Fed and the the the, the Secretary of Finance. Janet Allen and all of those people are talking about and what kind of concerns they have on uh, on crypto. So I'll put the link to that video on the card above. Go take a look at it. I'm sure it'll be useful to you. And it's very relevant to this particular topic. So, well, thank you very much. Thank you for listening to me. As you know, my name is Saurabh Mukherjee. I'm a digital technology ma marketing leader with over 20 years of experience, uh, global experience. If you, if you want to know more about my profile, you, I would put the LinkedIn uh, URL of my profile in the description box below. Click on it, go to the page, take a look at my profile. If you like my profile, send me an invite. I, as a profession, work with clients where I try and solve their business, marketing, technological, and investment challenges. If you're looking to engage in me as a consultant in your company to solve these challenges, you could drop me a line on LinkedIn or you could send me a, uh, or you could uh, write to me on the contact page of my website. I'll put on the link to the contact page of my website in the description box below then we can communicate and see how we can work together. So finally, before I wrap it up, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, please smash that notification bell, please comment on my videos, and please share my videos. So until next time, you stay safe and stay healthy, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.